When I start to draw an animal, I like to draw shapes and lines first so that I can get a general idea of the shape of the animal. And with a horse, I start with a rectangle for the body. Then some straight lines for legs. Then a rectangle for the neck. And another little rectangle for the head. That just gives me, and of course the tail there, that just gives me a general idea of the shape that I'm going to draw. And for this horse, I drew it on a fold so that when I cut it out, it would stand up. And I made a line here and a line here because that told me how long I wanted the body of the horse to be. And I start, and this is the back of the horse, make a curve around and then a curve down and then straight and then on the other side I come up make a line there for the hoof and then curve around and then this is the underside of the horse and just a curve like that just slightly now from the front of the horse I'm going to go down in a curve then straight down and a little bit out for the knee of the horse then on down to the for the leg and then back up the other side just that way. Then for the neck I'm going to in the head I'm going to start at the back of the, of the neck and then make the ears and then the horse's face. Then you can add details like the eyes and the nose to make it look more like a horse. <clears throat> then uh, after I did that, I cut it out so that it looks like this. Put this down. And I cut out the head and I cut a slit here so that I could glue it like this. So, and then it would stand up. Now I used paper to cut the mane and the tail, but if you've got yarn or string, that would work well too. And here's how I cut the little mane. I just cut it on a fold and then fringed the, the little mane as small of little fringes as you can make. And then for the tail shape, I just cut out a little triangle like, and then I fringed that really fine too. Then after you've made your little horse, if you want to make several of them to pull your covered wagon, you can add some strings or yarn to it. Thanks for watching, and please click the subscribe button, and remember, always be kind.